Hi, I'm Javis and welcome to the Girl with the Peter Spirit podcast. And today, my VIP, very interesting person is Mr. Paul Patmore, who is an entrepreneur and a philanthropist and also the president of the Christian Rotary Club. Now, I was expecting this interview to go one way and guys, it took a turn. You would not believe. You don't want to miss this. Stick around. Well, thank, you for, thank you for having me. Hey, thanks. I, I don't know what side of me you might get this evening mm -hmm. because I'm a person of many moods. Oh, yeah? So it all depends, <laughs> well, on, good all depends on, <laughs> as we go on, maybe I might change yeah? different, different moods. Well, I'll, I'll follow your lead. Okay. Right? It's like yeah. we're dancing and you're leading. Yes, right? Yes. Okay. So, um, whenever people hear the name Patmore, right, they have all sorts of assumptions in their head about you. Um, one of which might be that you have life easy, that yes. you you um whenever you touch anything, turn to gold because you're a partner, and um I know that that is not necessarily true. So I wanna start from early days. Like, tell me about your Paul Patmore. My um young Paul Patmore. I, I I'm a I'm a seventies baby. Mm -hmm. So, <laughs> I, I, I'm born, I'm, I'm one of those, I would say one of those fortunate kids thing because I have two sides of family. Mm -hmm. um, I'm one of those ch child that was born, I would say they're born with a wedlock, I don't know. In the 70s, those terms are not <laughs> normal anymore. People no, don't use them no anymore. people don't use them anymore. Yes, it's but, a baby but, mama and baby daddy. Yes, yes. So, <laughs> so I, I was yeah. born in one of those situations mm -hmm. where... Mm -hmm. Where I, I, I think I, I was told that my, I was, my mom got pregnant when my stepmother was out of to college mm -hmm. to study mm -hmm. at teacher's college. And that's, that's when a little entanglement <laughs> take place. Yeah, and yeah. That's, that's how I, you know, yeah, it came about. Yeah, it came about. And mm -hmm. it, it was, uh, uh, we are from Trelawney, a very very poor community called Olive River over in Chilani. Mm -hmm. My father from Christiana. Mm -hmm. He was a farmer at the time mm -hmm. and later turned into business. Mm -hmm. yeah, but, so uh, my mother was a dressmaker so she would leave Chilani to come into Christiana to, to practice, to work with somebody as a dressmaker. Oh, okay. So I guess on the road, yeah. Mm -hmm. And my father was a handsome man. <laughs> Still him. is. Yes. So he Still is. Him, so, you know. Yeah, but I, I, I was fortunate enough that my father was never absent mm -hmm. well, that's from my good. life. Because that's never. what I wanted to ask you. Because um, as an outside child, I know that sometimes um, the family might treat you away. Because sometimes people forget that it's not the child's fault. Mm. And so I wanted to ask you, like, um, were you really accepted as part of the family or was that like a process over time? I, I, I'm, I'm not even sure because just the how my father deal with it, mm -hmm. I I wasn't exposed to that, that I wouldn't even know whether there was something wrong mm -hmm. or something. Oh, you didn't feel like I, the backlash? No, I wasn't <laughs> alone. He never gave me that That's chance good. to feel anything. So you were kind of shielded. So he, yeah, he would yeah. shield me that way. So so it wouldn't be like that. And, and the thing that in the 70s though, mm -hmm. compared to now, Women used to be respectful of a man's wife then. Oh, Lord. So if you get pregnant for a man just, at that yeah. time, in the 70s, it yeah. would be a shame mm -hmm. to be pregnant for a man. Mm -hmm. So you kind of keep man. it quiet and yeah, so, so the woman, yeah. so because most of the problems that occur now, you know, mm -hmm. in the 2000s and 90s, mm -hmm. is because that old, that other woman now would be showing up herself mm -hmm. and, mm -hmm. and, you know, Things and I can tell you that my yeah. my That's stepmother true. have never seen my mother in law. Really? Never in all in, in all the years? No, I mean, never, never met? No, she has never seen me. That's crazy. And she has never seen me. Look how Jamaica is small. Also, yeah. And not even that. I yeah, mean, man. where you are in Trelawney is yeah, not that just, far yeah, from where Because that's the same community. Yes, yeah, it's the same, same community, community basically, an extension yeah, but, of but even in that, I, I know that my grandmother told me that it was... It, it, in those in the seventies, it would be like a shame. For, so you get pregnant for married man, or mm -hmm, you know mm -hmm. that type of thing. So it's, mm -hmm. they now would have to hide it. Yeah. Now it's mm -hmm. now it's like your your brother no. about your it. brother and call the wife and yeah, hustle the wife and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, man, but so, and, yeah. and I did not grow up 
my father was always at every holiday mm -hmm. i know that my little package would be coming mm -hmm. yes, you know, and so there's something there but my mother now she have other kids she have three other kids at the time mm -hmm. so that little package have to share for everybody, everybody. wow you know so yeah. Yeah. sometimes it is so we have we have a rough time mm -hmm. in that way so because that package could not stretch but so everyone. yeah but we, we always look forward to it because at least we'll have a good Christmas. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Even for that, the, the holiday here, mm -hmm. that little package would, would, would make it. feel good. And, you know, and so. that, was, that was good up here because like um, some kids would be like, okay, that's mine, that's from my father. And yeah. they wouldn't be so um, happy about sharing it, but you didn't have a problem with it. No, no, oh, I, I, was always, I was always a loving person. I remember one time my father bring in... Because he, he used to operate a pig farm mm -hmm. and he would carry some, like an entire piece, entire pig, mm -hmm. so like half pig, in. yeah, he would what? bring over half pig. Mm -hmm. And I remember at that, at that time I have a stepfather and, and, and I, I remember saying something, like it come out the wrong way mm -hmm. and I felt embarrassed mm -hmm. after I said That's it. I, 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 maybe I mentioned that. I my father carried it or something mm -hmm. of a sort, mm -hmm. but it was, it was, I felt really embarrassed okay. over it, yeah. Yeah, I know how that is, and sometimes as kids, you don't think before you speak, you yeah. know, and then, um, like, after you mature, or maybe even right in the moment, you realize that that was not yes, the best yes, thing to say, yes. especially when people react to it. Yeah, yeah I, so I could just, he never say much, but I could just see that look on his face, yeah. like, when, you know. Yeah. And, and and I think it hit him. Yeah, a little embarrassment probably. Yes, something yeah. hit, something hit him at that time and I said I would not do that to okay. him again. Yeah. yeah, that's good. Yeah, and that's the that's the point of learning. That's what learning is about. Yeah. Like you make a mistake and nothing wrong with that, but mm -hmm. you learn from that. So you're telling yourself at that early age that I'll I'll never do that again is a huge thing, you know, because yeah. you have people who do not learn from their mistakes. It's mm -hmm. like they just keep making the same mistakes over and over again. For you to be that aware, that young, that hey, this is something I never want to do again. It's yeah. like a commendable thing. And then after that, to go into school. Mm -hmm. How were you um in school? At, 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 when I was at primary school, I was I, they would refer to me as a bright kid. Mm -hmm. But after when I reached Homewood now, I, said, I was maybe one of the dunces in the class. <laughs> <laughs> No, let and, me know. And, Don't but, say that. But, Maybe you no, weren't applying yourself. No, man, because I, once no, man, I was you were trying, try, yeah, you were trying. When you reach high school, now when you book up on some bright, yeah, yeah, bright yeah, children, yeah, yeah. you kind of feel inferior. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, and so that's uh, that's one of the things that mm -hmm. that hit me. Mm -hmm. I I I mature very slow too, mm -hmm. because even when I was around nineteen, I still um, used to still behave like maybe a twelve year old or yeah. so, the childish things. Yeah, mature. I'm one of those persons who mature very slow. Very slow. Yeah. yeah man, so because it's after I leave school now, mm -hmm. after leaving home or high school. That's the time I realized how important school was. Mm -hmm. After you finished school. Yeah, good. after I finished. <laughs> yeah, and I really wanted to, yeah. to go on. But during high school, I um, my father was always in charge of um, trying to discipline me. Mm -hmm. I, I, I'm one of those persons who used to like to be around the girls. So I would, every evening... <laughs> So he make sure he put me on the dormitory at home. At home. Oh, you were yeah, on so, yeah, oh, so yeah. even though I was so close, close by, yeah. He, yes. yeah, man, my father still put me oh. on the dorm because he wanted me to get some to, discipline. Yeah, get, get some discipline and, because I wasn't around him. But uh, mm -hmm. yeah, man. So how was dorm life? Because I I went to Knox first and then after grade eight went to an all girls school. Right, that was a disaster for me, like the worst thing. But I was like about two hours away from home. For you now, you're like close to home. Maybe yes, like what 20, 25 but when you when you're when you're home in Chilani, where you're not even sure if when you come from school if you're gonna get dinner later. Mm -hmm. um, Being somewhere yeah. where you're sure, so you're so gonna you get, get dinner that because your true. school field would be paying, yeah, your board yeah, yeah, pay. Yeah, yeah. So at least yeah. assure you didn't. And that most yeah. of the time as teenagers, that's the one that they think about. Yeah, yeah. Guys if especially. Gonna, uh, yes, if you ever get dinner <laughs> when you go home. Yeah. yeah so, but oh. but um, so school life was all right. When, at one time, I remember my father was trying to discipline me. Mm -hmm. 
by him not giving me no pocket money. So you'll get you get money for just for just a small amount of money. Mm -hmm. But my stepmother now, whenever me need anything, I think some of the time we play on her a little bit because when I, in those days, I, and I think it still happened, mm -hmm. step parents go through a lot of health, the, the mothers, go, stepmothers I, go through I a lot of pressure. Say, because step everything, yeah, mm -hmm. everything people might be would blame the stepmother. Blame for the stepmother yeah, yeah, it's true. So, but when my father tried to discipline me, I could just easily. But to my stepmother and tell her that I want money and she mm -hmm. just She'd give it to you. Yeah, man. I mean, I asked him, why you never give yeah, for yeah, no yeah, money? Yeah, yeah. As so long as dad, we go to the store and just tell her. Yeah. You get it. So, so, you're, so you're getting from your dad and then you're getting from your stepmom. Yes, and you, yeah. your dad don't know that you're No, man. Yeah, man. And she don't say anything. And to she say don't say anything. Either. Okay. Because most of the time she does. So she will she just give, give me money as long as we go. Mm -hmm. And I can't even remember asking her. And she said, no. I mean, no. Really? Wow. If. If just if, is a pressure of mm -hmm. being a stepmother and then mm -hmm. people, are, you know, you could say no, then say I try not for your pick me or yeah. something. Yeah. But I, so so because at that so my time I try to avoid him yeah. asking because mm -hmm. she, she would never say no. No, because, yeah. Because but you know what? This is the thing about your stepmom. Um, after having gotten to know her like over the years. I realize that's just the type of person that she is. Yes, you understand what I'm saying? Yes. So it's like I'm not surprised that um, you are treated like that because she's she's a really giving and kind person. Yeah. Or she was. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Yeah, so so I have so my 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 childhood days. So that's why I'm so I'm I'm I would say I'm one of those spoiled child. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then my 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 father would be one of the businessmen in the era from. Early, mm -hmm. early. So, growing up as a as a teenager, you no, know, all the girls want to talk to Paul. Yeah, <laughs> you became Mr. Right? Yeah. Okay, yeah, okay. So, so we have a lot of <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, and yeah. that kind of. What from early was that distracting for you? I mean, you found yourself getting distracted by all the attention you were getting. Yeah, I think I was spoiled a little bit too early. Mm -hmm. Yeah, by having my father giving me. What I want, mm -hmm. then if my mother she never have much, but she still Spoiling. try, yeah, because I still miss a pop more son and she want to make sure. So when they go Christian, I'm like, look good, yes, yeah. yeah. because you know. So yeah. I was, I was spoiled because even mm -hmm. if my other brothers, they never get the treatment that you got. No, really, yeah, wow, you never, that's, never get the treatment. You're both younger, and so right through mm -hmm. the time, I'm like the, I'm like the baby, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and yeah, I remember even at primary school. Most of the teachers, my stepmother was at the school, at, at Zon at the time. Mm -hmm. And when I was, I, I attended Zon for around two or three years. Mm -hmm. And most of the teachers, they want to have me in their class, you know, like mm -hmm. they just take me and have me in their class, gone around the with me. Yeah. I know me, I wonder. Yeah. You know, yeah because yeah, yeah, yeah. I know that, so Mrs. Patmore would be at school and then that's, it would be their friend, but I don't know if they were talking or what, but every, Every teacher, mm -hmm. every teacher would want to have Paul as part of in, 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 in you know, class, really? You know, I, I don't know, wow. if, because I mean, I don't, maybe she even, I don't, I, when I started primary school, I don't think she even knew me. Mm -hmm. My stepmother never knew me at the time. Mm -hmm. But all of the teachers then was just excited. I don't know if they know here, they name Pat Moore and mm -hmm. I said, well, that's so what they I'm want, saying. Right, so they want to make name? sure, yeah, yeah so they yeah. want to make sure, so they want yeah, okay. so they want to carry me around, maybe, which yeah. part she did that, and say, yeah. Yeah, I can't go show you on her, her yeah, something, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but yeah. It, it was, it, I have an interest in life, you know, mm -hmm. and yeah. just because of that, that's why I, I always tell people that I'm spoiled, I mean, you know. but Otherwise, from that, I'm a hard worker. Yeah. I, in, I believe in hard work. I just like to do things. I'm, a, mm -hmm. I'm not. I'm not one of those theory person. I'm a practical person. So mm -hmm. any any kind of business, I'm the type of person who will just go out and get things done. Mm -hmm. How how do you start in business? Is it because um like your dad was in business and then that was a natural? Yeah, I, what, yeah. for the funeral home now, at the my father used to sell casket at the hardware. Mm -hmm. And then he stopped selling casket. But during when he used to sell the casket, now what, what used to happen? The persons would come to the hardware and buy a casket, and then they would, a truck would come and pick it up mm -hmm. and take 
go and pick up the body in the truck back at Spalling Hospital mm -hmm. and then oh. take it down to Trillan or mm -hmm. Silent Hill or mm -hmm. anywhere. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, so at that time he had a, a, a pickup, a father had a pickup and he, he just gave it to me mm -hmm. and I put on a camper on it. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's how my funeral room started. So with it, so I use, so in, uh, you used to say, tell the people now, so instead of carrying the body in a truck back, mm -hmm. we have this nice little van mm -hmm. that you just put it it's in. Very enterprising. Scared. So all of those, uh, everybody yeah. where you say running a, a funeral mm -hmm. home mm -hmm. was started by Paul Patman. Mm -hmm. I'm the first person that make people know that poor people can run a funeral home. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It used to be a rich man thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you have to be the lens or the Ben mm -hmm, or mm -hmm. Nobody would even consider say something like that can happen. Could happen. So yeah. the, even though you see two hundred, you look in the in the green and now you see two hundred funeral homes. Mm -hmm. All of them is my my template there right now. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's mm -hmm. pretty. Like that's pretty I'm the first amazing. person who tried to do something yeah. like that. The very first. First person. That's pretty amazing. So, like the funeral home, where is it? Well, so I have an office. My main office is in Chulon. Mm -hmm. and uh, but I have a in Spalling's at Tans Plaza. I purchased a, a shop there, mm -hmm. so that I have an office at that. Office at Chulon. Yeah, so I just place. keep caskets and you know. Mm -hmm. uh, but it's my place, so. Yes, mm -hmm. And I also have a cemetery over in Chulon also. Oh, that's yeah, pretty so cool. I have a cemetery. One, I might live. I'm. I'm at like. Maybe just five or so funeral homes mm -hmm. in Jamaica that own a cemetery, and I'm one of them. Mm -hmm. yeah, which is which is good because uh, in Chilani, I'm the contracted funeral home mm -hmm. for the parish of Chilani. The one. So I've, it's, it's only eleven in the entire country is eleven contractors, yeah. and Patmos is one, one of them. Of them. Yeah. So do you have a chapel? And yes, we have yeah, man. So we have chapel. Okay. And, uh, so chapel kind also. of one stop. Yeah, man, one stop. So <laughs> one one stop. Yeah, that's, that's pretty cool. Yeah. Let me ask you about um schooling. So after high school, did you go on from there, no. or just went straight into business? Yeah, well, I, I I went to the hardware with my father. Okay, yeah. so oh, so the the, the business yeah, was a university. Yes. Yeah. yeah okay. So, so being there, I learned, I learned a lot. So at that at that time, my stepmother was there also. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so. They were so there to university. Yeah, man. Yeah. Yeah, man. So I know that you um apart from the funeral home, what else? But if, but um you do chairs and stuff like that too. So is that yeah. like for, for just funerals? Like, yeah, most of the time it's just, just funerals. Funeral. Like, most of the time it's just funerals. But people will just ask us sometimes mm -hmm. those things kinda slow. I have, so I have tents. Mm -hmm. uh, I pr I purchase tents but not, not a not okay, a bad business. So, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Cause so my time you just need something to balance mm -hmm. balance the funeral home. So I also do that. Yeah, man, and I do music, I do all, all, everything that you can think of. <laughs> yeah, really? yeah, man, everything <laughs> from at one time I actually I run go go club. Really? Yeah man, oh I my gosh. Go -go club, I so, so why you stop? You know, I think I think my father hear about it and I start. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, uh, family. Yes, yes. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so he's a man now, you can't make him hear about those guys. I run if you are on a month. Your father is a church. Yeah, man. I run if you are on a month without. I run a year. Yeah, 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 and maybe yeah. somebody just come at the store and I said, Why? Well, I don't have, I don't have Paul Go Go Club with the last night, man. I couldn't get the cup. <laughs> and, and I tell him, because oh, it might be them fees that he knows about. Yeah, right, right. And maybe he's a part of it. So what was that conversation yeah, man. like? No, man, you're rough. You know. <laughs> So you know, say him never talk, talk, talk. Right. Yeah, so yeah, just lock shop. Yes. <laughs> yeah, man. So over the years, one I think that I always liked that he was always against was politics. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He never ever wanted me to, to go get into involved politics. in politics. No. Well, always. you did. Yes. Always. What, but, but, what what precipitated that? Why why would you like against your father's wishes and? Um, objections to go into politics. No, I, I, I just always want to serve, and I just, but I all, always doing things that when they come to like youth clubs and those things, mm -hmm. I'm always that that person. Yeah, giving back. Yeah, man, giving back and everything. So, and that's what he do too, you know. Guys, was most of, most of the things that I do is because of how things that I see him do. Mm -hmm. oh, so when I when I when I come to yeah, <laughs> yeah. when I come to Brunty. He, he would always up to even come tomorrow he will be calling me 
to give me some even of the work on and give to the old people in my community. Really? Remember wow. I don't you? Wow. He he have been doing that from a, a good a, I think I moved to live in Bronte with him around maybe around thirty years now. And every every year, yeah, man, wow. and every year, and I think he used to do, and he always used to do it. Mm -hmm. Even before he was doing the hardware, he said he yeah. just always used to do. It. Yeah, I, I, I get and that. that's something that I always do. So, so it's just people always as a part represent me because they know that I can do it and mm -hmm. can do it well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, that's really amazing. This no, man, like... I, I was a representative, and I was not really a politician. Mm -hmm. I remember going to somebody's house. To do, I was doing walk, walk alone to visit persons, mm -hmm. and we reach all the people in the yard and start to cry. Really? The scam believes that people were living like in that. Like that. Oh my gosh. Because because we we have we take so much things for granted. granted. It's true. It's true. You know? Yeah. I remember one one man. He have one room, a room four kids and his wife. Mm -hmm. And he said, "Mister wow. Patmore, come and take a take a look." Mm -hmm. I'm going in a room. I wonder which part, where the where's where the this, yeah, where this yeah and he says, see the mattress here somewhere. Mm -hmm. Imagine in the, in the day, in wow. the in the, lean up the mattress that the kids can walk up and have down. Space have space to walk. Wow. And at the night, he said, he just drop the mattress. And everybody and has everybody to do it. Just sleep. Wow. Yeah, man. My gosh. So, like, and that's that's one of the things that it really break my heart when I have to leave leave politics, but it was it, it was becoming a burden to, to my business. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, man, it was in know, terms of like time or in what kind financially, of financially because oh. persons will always be asking for things. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Man, and people will call you and tell us, well, the baby sick. Mm -hmm. As the baby sick, you know, we call him call him counselor. Mm -hmm. yeah, man, man, they expect you to finish. fix it. Yeah, man, you tell the paper <laughs> finish your yard and you call him counselor. <laughs> no, so you, so you, they were expecting to fix every single problem that yeah, you were man, having. Every, every, yeah, that's kind of rough. Every that's kind of rough. I remember one day I was. We have, as a counselor, we were fixing a road. Mm -hmm. It was there for like 50 years. Mm -hmm. No politician has never touched it. Mm -hmm. And I was there, we were tarring the road, mm -hmm. and I was walking behind the truck. Because mm -hmm. all of my projects, I tried to be on the spot. Mm -hmm. In fact, hands, yeah. hands yeah, on. Yeah. Yeah. And, and I was walking behind this, this, this tar truck. Mm -hmm. And one man pushed out his head and said, Mr. Portmore, beg us up now. I said, my road, my fix, man. fix the road, yeah. I said, road. The road, <laughs> yeah, the road. This is what road. <laughs> yeah, man. No, and they said, and that really, make, yeah, yeah, man, that, yeah. And that really, really make, hard. yeah, man. Because it, yeah. it was a, we got you a lot just to get that road done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And when but people don't see that, you know. Yeah, people don't go and see that, you know, Paul, because at the end of the day, they're hungry. You understand? Mm -hmm. So, they don't care about the road that you're fixing. Yeah. The family hungry, they are hungry, and they need so nobody care about the road. No, well, most of them they're not really hungry. It's just a habit. Oh, I have okay. I have this one guy who leave his house. Mm -hmm. He tell me that he wants a tin of carrot seed. Mm -hmm. A tin of carrot seed costs seven hundred and fifty dollars. Mm -hmm. And I say, all right, check me up at my office for this tin of carrot seed. Where you live, you have to pay two hundred to come for the carrot seed and two hundred to go back home. Mm -hmm. When I when he come to my office, I wasn't there, so he. There's a little shop next door and you go there and buy. So you sit down and say, I have a drink. drink yeah. So it, it, the bill up by the shop come to $1,500. What? Because you sit down and have... You wait for so him to come, so he comes So saying, let me ask you something now. Yeah. So if you have $1,500 to yeah. buy drinks yeah. and $400 for taxi fare, yeah. you know how much seeds you could have buy for yeah, that? Yeah, I just, all the ones. Wow. Is a, I see I wait, so when he went yeah. as a driver and, and I give him the... Yeah. The tin of carrot seed costs mm -hmm. seven hundred and fifty dollars. That makes no sense. And he said, "Boy, Mr. Pat, my best counselor in the world." <laughs> yeah. That makes no yeah, sense so to me at all. A, I see what you're saying about the mentality. People. Yeah, man, it's just a mentality. Yeah, mentality. How, how people think. So now that you're out of politics, and um, I hear the passion that you have for people. Like, how have you continued to yeah, help man. the community? So I'm, I'm a justice of the peace. Mm -hmm. So I so I continue to serve. Mm -hmm. I'm I'm a rotary and I'm a president of the Christian Rotary Club. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. So, okay. So we and I know the Rotary to, Club does a lot for yes, the community. Yeah, man, we, yeah. We go around and we buy equipment for the hospital. Mm -hmm. We're very close to Spalding Hospital. Mm -hmm. Right now, the Rotary Club of Christian, we adopt the outside health center over in Chilon. Mm -hmm. and okay. We, and come tomorrow. Mm -hmm. The twenty second of this December will be giving 
all the mental health patients they come in and and they have a last Friday for the injection. Wow. So we so we're gonna give them a breakfast. So mm -hmm. we set up tables, mm -hmm. set up a nice tablecloth and so we move away the benches. Mm -hmm. So when they come tomorrow morning they're gonna get breakfast. Nice breakfast. Really? Banana and what? Liver. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah man. Mm -hmm. Nice stew, stew chicken <laughs> yeah. yeah man. And tea and, yeah, man. and tea. And so. yeah. Yeah, but that's, but that's... at the at the click. So every otherwise from what we are doing tomorrow. We every single last Friday we provide tea for them. Mm. Roche Club or Christian we set up a tea corner at the clinic. Mm -hmm. So we never saw any patient come and then then now they just never get any tea at mm -hmm. home. They can raise a cup of tea there for them. You so know, any patient maternity any, okay. any, any, anyone. anyone. Oh, oh so, so, it's so not the clinic just... that so that the, the tea corner is always there. Oh, so we provide okay. tea and milk, sugar. Yeah, you know, they, they ask us not to do coffee, but so, so oh, we have no everything. Coffee. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, coffee just kind of have you know, yeah, high so, for a week. Yeah, so, yeah. yeah. but yeah. you know, um, when you talk about mental health, that's such an important thing. Yeah, man, that's because good. there's a stigma, you know, surrounding mental health. Yes. But like in my family, um, we've been touched by that, even suicide. You know, yeah. and so like for you to be doing something for the mental mm -hmm. health patients is a huge deal because a lot of times when health fairs um happen around the country and health fairs pop up and so on and they do a wonderful job you know tea cleaning eye care and um you know like checkups and so on but you're the first person that I've heard like talk about um helping mental yeah. mental uh, mentally ill the mentally ill and that's commendable. Because there is um, a lot of times the mental um, people with mental health don't get enough care. You see them on the streets and they're yeah, dirty. Is that mental they, health to us now? Is not just persons on the street anymore. No? Like, yeah, like three of us, they, anxiety, they, they, it's showing yeah. now that the three of us in this room, you know, one of us not so wonderful. It, at it's time. probably me. That's so. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, that's so. Probably me. So one out of every three person. <laughs> okay. It's yeah, true. I have a little, it's true. I have a little, I have a little and you, you make a very, 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 very good point. You know why? Because a lot of times we pay attention to people who are mentally ill when yeah. they're walking on the street yes. and dirty. Yeah. But you make a very good point. People will be sitting around dressed nice, yeah. laughing, smiling, and they're hiding a wealth of pain and suffering inside. Can't cope with stress, depression, anxiety, that kind of thing. So, um, Getting away from the stigma is like a big thing where yeah. people won't be embarrassed to seek help. So at the health center, are there counselors for people? Yes, we have them and they have, they have a, so the government provide a, 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 a good, very good team up there. Mm -hmm. So all we are doing now is just support, giving them giving the support. Them support. So for the, the adaptive clinic, so we do the painting and everything. Really? And we put... Wow. Cause some of these persons, you know, all they need is somebody to talk to. Them. Yeah. And when yeah. when That's they say, "Well, Mister Parkman, come and sit beside them," it mm -hmm. mean a lot to them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that yeah, is true. Yeah, man, and then come and they hook you up and then see somebody and brush them off. Right, and, exactly. Because yeah. mental this mental health thing is very close to me. I have a daughter that struggle with it every now and then. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, it's one of those one of those kids that you know. I never met her till she was 17 years old. Really? Is, is that you didn't know about her at all? Or? I kind of have an idea. Mm -hmm. I kind of have an idea, but mm -hmm. when I was getting married, I asked the mother because I uh, because I wanted to mention it to my wife. Mm -hmm. And she said no, sir. Mm -hmm. Oh, really? She told yeah, you she one said, year time? Yeah, she said no. What? But wow. that child looked exactly like, like me. It, pa it packed more blood. <laughs> well, strong in us. You know, so easy for you. Can't hide. No, you know, so All you want to hide, you can't no. hide. <laughs> and it was, it was oh. around when it, as a child go, mm -hmm. so person I say, how you feel my pulse? And, mm -hmm, you know, mm -hmm. and, it, and, it, and, it, and it looked like it affect her. Mm -hmm. and, wow. And, and really? Affect her. And so as she took it upon herself to search for her father. So really? she didn't try wow. to find me. Yeah, yeah. She didn't come home with me and my wife and yeah. just did it. And, you yeah. know, and, and, and what's that relationship like? You guys oh my, close. Yeah, man. Yeah. She called me every, because she's in England now, but she mm -hmm. called me every single day. Wow. And asked if me, all right. That's pretty amazing. Yeah, yeah That's really cool. 
So every how, single in day terms of well, you said she's in England, so like um, mental health should get the help that she yeah, you know, you know, so since things go up because even during her treatment, mm -hmm. the the doctors will just call me and say, "Your daughter need to." The only problem she has, she needs her father. Mm -hmm. And, just and I never know that that, that could the only medication she ever need. Oh my God! Look just her that. father. Look the doctor, that. the doctor just tell me say she don't need no medication. She needs her father. Need her and she was at I remember she was at Mandeville Hospital at one time. Mm -hmm. And he just call and say, "Daddy, you need to come down." Mm -hmm. And that was it. Yeah, man, I just oh. go down and sit beside her in the bed. And yeah. you see how? And because. At, at 17, yeah. he's not, you know, so no of a approach a 17 year old yeah, young yeah. lady, you know, as a teenager when they were really yeah, grow that close to you. Yeah, yeah man, I will sit, we will sit down and chit chat, and, mm -hmm. and yeah, man, and she come down. Look at that. It's also crazy that it's the only medication, so something, yeah, yeah, something where we so say, so we, we should yeah. used to go home with and right through school, the counselor would just come and call me and say, she just yeah. want to talk to you. Something simple. Look at that. Some, something as simple as that. And you see, like, some parents, you see, some people will believe that um, the absence of fathers don't have an impact. And it yeah, really and I think, does and I have think an even with it. Even with girls, you know, I think it, I think it affects yeah, girls it more than it. even boys. Yeah, because is. over the years, you know, that parents used to push for the boys to be closer to the father. But mm -hmm. I think the girls, girls need that really need daddy more than Yeah, than girls even, need that too. Yeah. And even with it. And and that is true. But I can think of my own daughter and 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 how like certain situations in my life has affected her. My life and my marriage affected her, mm -hmm. and she seemed to be affected more so than the boys. Yeah. You know because the boys had me, yeah. but then uh, her her dad at some point <clears throat> became absent. So um, it's hard. It's really mm -hmm. hard. And then as as a parent watching your child struggle, I know it couldn't be easy for you no, because no, watching my my children struggle is is the hardest thing. No, yeah. and because at the time no me never even understand yeah. what mental health yeah. and how yeah. how the such simple thing. Come with and just boy she does She needs to just yeah. get over it. Yeah. A lot of times you know sometimes people are depressed. So me even yeah. pressure and I say, No, you just you know, yeah, yeah, get yeah. over that, get over yeah, that yeah. and it's not as easy. After, long after now just understanding how persons yeah. 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 People expect like once you <clears throat> have mental illness like anxiety or depression that something that you say will just cause them to snap out of it. You say yeah. snap out of it man. Like you try to tell them how to feel, how to think yes. and that doesn't work. They mm -hmm. have to process whatever it is they're going through and deal with that in order to get better. Just you saying to them get over it or snap out of it does not make so any difference. So when I think that yeah. what she's doing now, every opportunity that we get, mm -hmm. we just talk to somebody, just yeah. Yeah. walk with somebody, just hug yeah. somebody. Yeah. That's one of the things something that we are simple. pushing. Yeah, man, Big simple. difference. Yeah. Yeah, man, just, yeah. I, have, I have a worker right now. He used to work with me before. Mm -hmm. And he, at, at that time, he used to just steal and uh, end up running away. Mm -hmm. At that time, I never realized that he was getting... He was having problems. Mental issues. Yeah, man, and he was on the road for five years. Just eating out of eating out of garbage bin. Oh my God. Everything. Mm -hmm. And one day we just take him up mm -hmm. and carry him down at the Falmouth Hospital. Mm -hmm. It was the customs of Chulani that decided that we can't allow him to stay. Mm -hmm. Walk up and down and road, in, the, yeah. in the garbage bin during oh COVID. God. When COVID just come. And the customs call the police and then carry him down. Mm -hmm. And in space of two days. Mm -hmm. He get to know me again mm -hmm. and tell me saying one well, trim and he could be carrying what trim. And right now he's working with me in buying really? you see me said just two days yesterday mm. in buying TV and in D V D in buy a bike since Whoa, he come back home. Like yeah man. Yeah. Have his own bike a ride ride one of my best worker right now. We can just leave him and just tell him to forget. Look at that. Anything. And you see, this is the thing about it. Like, and we just see that's the boy, a ganja in a bone man or, yeah, or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you never have nothing at all to do with ganja. That, yeah. never have nothing to Sometimes you disregard people and um, kind of, you feel like there's nothing that you can do and something just, sim just simply showing that you care and actually moving to get the guy some help. Look yeah. at the big difference that it made. Yeah. I mean, mm. that's, that's amazing, mm. you know. And um, yeah, a lot of times, like, People call and 
they're like depressed or anxious or whatever and like you said just being being an ear yeah. is such an important thing you know um yeah i, I want to talk a little bit about like um like church life family life what is that like how 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 big a part does church because we were talking about your dad and the go go club and stuff and that he's yes. in church and stuff did you grow up in church and at all or not yes so much? Him, as long as you're around him you'd have to go church is a is a is a thing and even yeah. even at 50 mm -hmm. If you are not careful, you even have a high family. If you don't, if you are not <laughs> in church, in church on a Sunday, even at fifty, you have a high family. You know why you don't cross the road? No, that's a whole serious thing. Take it, take it, into, yeah, into yeah, Churches, yeah. yeah. And church, I mean, and tithing is in take it very seriously. Very serious, yeah. But, but but for me, you know, my tithes is really my yeah. my little people and yes. the and but I'm a family person. I I love I lo I love family. Yeah. So in, in in your like your busy life now, <laughs> how you make time for that? Well, because business business, if my home, if business not good, um, the home is not good for me. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Me just sulky. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. If if one day me wake up and me pick up like three four dead for the day, mm -hmm. I'm the happiest husband. Why get someone that me so yeah. right? <laughs> So when you come to because you have to understand that why one of my like when me I will I will maybe go to church and I ask God I pray mm -hmm. I ask God for more business. Yeah. You know, you know really come up good with a lot of persons in the yeah. If you're undertaker asking right. for Right, yeah, for more you, business, somebody has to yeah, die. Somebody yeah, have, somebody yeah, somebody has somebody to die. have to cry. Yeah. So when I'm yeah. happy, somebody's crying. Crying, yeah, uh, yeah. Okay. Kind of mixed feelings still, yeah, so. but as a breadwinner in the family, as a man, I can understand that because it's like you're wanting to take care of your family, and if business is not good, then your family not good. Yeah, and I just one of them. There's something at when I was fourteen. Mm -hmm. When I think that cast this burden as a provider to come down on me now is that when I was fourteen, my mother and her husband break up mm -hmm. and I remember my mother moving out every single thing out of the house at 14 I was 14 so it was his house they rented the house they rented the house yeah but oh. I know that he was the one who he was a mason mm -hmm. carpenter mm -hmm. so he would work hard and then but so the man they wouldn't send the wife go buy furniture and so mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I remember at 14, she took up every single thing out of the house. And when when when, when she had moved out everything, and me, at 14, I said, can I leave something for you to sleep on? Mm -hmm. And she said, no. Wow. And yeah, that made, that and, and, it, and it caused me to be. Made an impression it, on me. Yes, yeah. and, it, and it type of, the type of man that I am today. Because mm -hmm. well, way up until the time when we get, decide to get married, mm -hmm. we just feel a woman... We must just back them up and just enjoy ourselves. Mm -hmm. I would never take take On life any kind of responsibility. No, I would never do it. So because just and I just then I just the way how Mrs. She treat a man. Yeah. yeah. That hit me and yeah. even now. Look at us. Yeah, so my wife now would, would get up and say, you know, I need the stove, mm -hmm. and she go and work and to, and she just say. I mean, just go up and sing and buy the stove and play. And she has said, no, you're not going to do that. And I ask her just to forgive me. But he just come naturally. Me just can't allow somebody. Yeah, me can't yeah. allow. It's not a good thing. Yeah. Yeah. It's not a good thing. But if I want better buy, I'm going to buy. Right. Wow. It's, yeah. so, it's so crazy because, let me tell you, it's like childhood now. Like, people don't realize how how much your childhood experiences you know, shape yeah. the person that you yes. become. And sometimes it's just one little thing that happened that caused you to, kind of, it kind of change the way you view life yeah. and look at life. And look and treat women yeah, at first yes, yes. until they realize that, hey, this is not the way. Yeah. 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 And so that's why, that's why I'm as, as I said, I'm a man of many moods. So it depends on what, what I remember. Because we just get up and just remember something like that. We mm -hmm. just remember how so my mother did move out. Mm -hmm. The bed out of and the house. And not even a bed. And we just, cheap, yeah, man, and we just change for the entire 
in some even my mood just changed. Change. Right, yes. Sir. Wow. It's 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 rough because like um growing up like um my parents didn't get along very well but they stayed together and sometimes I remember as a child thinking maybe better than just go their separate ways. You understand? Because the constant fighting and stuff yeah. and um and, and people were on the outside not realizing that this was what was going on inside mm -hmm. my house so sometimes um you put the best foot forward out there and at home is a different story mm -hmm. you know so like and, and i know that my childhood affected even how i behaved in my marriage you you uh, you you find that hey you put up walls and so because yeah. you don't want to get hurt and in your case basically yeah, the same thing because you put up a wall yeah. because hey that kind of pain and anguish and suffering of being put out of your house yeah. stick with you yeah, away so. yeah and you you probably just put up walls and say well no no woman will ever do that yeah. do that to me. And it can it can it can, it can affect your, your marriage. marriage you know? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Because yeah. so each time each time most of the time when we do these these things, I always tell my wife, I always point it out and say, sorry, me not me not even Yeah. I just unconscious mm. me just me just get it. Because just, that is why you told yourself that hey, this isn't I'm yeah. not going to be allowed. No, I'm just not allowed certain yeah. things. Yeah. Um, I mean I'm sure I mean some even have to sit down and say because I was affected. By this. Traumatized by, by this. Yes. A woman trauma. Yes, yeah, that is and the word. Yeah, yeah. Certain things traumatize. And, most, and, and yeah. when you look on most relationships, mm -hmm. I'm one. Of, I'm one of those persons where I try not to talk, try to counsel people about marriage. I don't have much enough good things to say about it. Yeah, it's same here. That's, like that's, like for me, if people will come and want to talk about their marriage, and I tell the truth. Paul, I will say, hey, I'll, I'll give them positive feedback as much as I can and say, listen, go seek a third person, impartial party, because I don't know what to tell you. Mm -hmm. Apart from trust God and pray. But, you know, it's uh, apart from that, what am I going to tell you? I don't get involved in people's marriages like that mm -hmm. because you, people are dealing with trauma. They carry trauma into the mm -hmm. relationship and it affects the way that they deal with the spouse. Yes, and so um, over the years, though, because you've been married how long? 21 years. Yes. So over the period oh. of 21 years, have you kind of shed some, some of that or are you still holding on to Fine. it? Fine, every now and then I feel so really shitty, but every now and then something does and that's the problem. come back up in yes, my head. And, yeah. that is the problem. And, um, that's the problem. You and nev it never leaves you. There's something in the uh, It yeah. never leaves you. Something. No matter how um you try, no matter how you say you're not going to allow childhood trauma to affect the person that you become and you kind of move away from it mm -hmm. you find yourself being pulled back into it and sometimes it's just one little thing you know you yeah. hear a song you hear a yeah. song you hear a word somebody says something to you that you heard as a child that devastated you and somebody said the same thing yeah. probably even as a joke but it takes you right back to that moment a humiliation yeah. and embarrassment or whatever and, it, and, it and that's in. why that's why when i hear persons even you will say boy well, you don't follow up this TikTok and the social media i think it's one of the best things yeah i don't because I, really don't. I can i can tell you that a lot of times i just i'm on TikTok. Come and spend a lot of time on TikTok. <laughs> really? And yeah, 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 just yes, scrolling, just, just, scrolling, uh, scrolling. I mean, that's my company <laughs> really? so i'm there as uh, somebody you just hear one woman just come out and start talk some bad things about man and mm -hmm. I want man to come on and start to call me. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah I, I, I don't, I don't subscribe to that. Um, so if you can stay, yeah, stay yeah, away. Yeah, and most, of most I think, and social media is just people putting in on a show. Yeah, that is true. You, always, you even go see a man and he, and his wife are live happy, happy, you know, mm -hmm. a play, play, mm -hmm. and as the camera turn off, different story, yeah, different, different story. story. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it's, it's, it, it, it is kind of rough. Because um, like I was saying to you, it's like people were on the outside looking at my family thinking it's the ideal family and then they don't know what you're going going through at home. Mm -hmm. You understand? So um, yeah, that's just the way it is. But the thing about it is like um, with you, the thing is that you can't let those things hold you back. Mm -hmm. And that's the thing that I admire. Can we end up with a, we end up with a, because kind of the good thing, that's why I me, me believe in an unequal yoke in a different form. You know? mm -hmm. So my me and my wife come from the same 
Trelawney. Yeah, yeah. So we yeah, so we have the same culture where we, we know so why the man man at the head of the house and the woman kinda keep mm -hmm. keep things going. You know, so if we pass twenty one years we we, we quarrel mm -hmm. but there's never a day where we don't get the breakfast. Mm -hmm. Never no, in the twenty one years. <laughs> that's good. The breakfast that's and dinner. Like no. Yeah. Yes. Breakfast and dinner, we in time we fix. Mm. Um, Cause me are the one where the most are the vexing. <laughs> no, so I, I think it's a man, man thing, you know. Cause we kind of more psychology. So you, you come in by the time she if you start quarreling with you, yeah, yeah. you make sure you first fix that means so you come. <laughs> so, I was so, 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 so we kind of yeah. What so you first mix. Yeah, man. So we just fix that for you. Know, I just. I hope we didn't have it all, and then we had use reverse psychology and then it become. You know, but wait, 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 hold on. So, when you say reverse psychology now, she ends up apologizing? Yeah, I might, maybe she feel bad, so why? Are you serious? So, you know, you use reverse psychology and her, and she end up. Whether she right, whether she right or wrong, she feel bad enough yeah. to come and apologize. Yeah, man, I just feel bad this piece that she do that. Mm -hmm. And that's one I think me always said to even to my daughters then, because. That's a one man is a, is a man thing, you know. Mm -hmm. Always want to blame because people always have look something for blame. Yes. Because yeah. you never do nothing yeah. wrong yet, you know. It's, Listen, you go, go cheat just because, even, you know, because you, 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 you turn know. your back last night, so you go, go yeah, cheat. Or, 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 you know, different, yeah. different things. You can't deal with no So one. there's no. Palmetto is hard to deal with. Men are from a different planet. No, man, because I just thought men never. With a force upon us to mm -hmm. take a one woman and, and deal with it. We deal with it. Mm -hmm. we, were, we weren't created that way. You know. it's, mm -hmm. that, it's that the nature, you know, the characteristics of a man. Mm -hmm. A society force it upon a man and say, You have to stay with this mm -hmm. one woman. Mm -hmm. So, man, not designed for that. Mm -hmm. So, it's like we're in a prison. Every man where you see married, oh. I have this one woman. It's like. He almost in a prison. Wow, in a, in a really? Prison. You know what? I don't have any brothers. And so, like, I love talking to guys to get the perspective on things because the way you guys think is just so different. Like, mm. hearing the talk now, I'm just like, seriously? Mm -hmm. Because you guys are just from a different planet. Because I'm thinking, hey, if I have self control, you have self control too. But no, you're I mean, saying no, it right. is they, they nature. Yes, you're nature. saying nature they has were. a part to play. And then nurture this side. Nurture kind of force yeah. you to, to, to. So nature, you're not built that way. But nurture kind of force you to just stick to one wife is what yeah. you're saying. Yeah. So, so what you're saying is that men have to cheat. It's, it's natural for them to. It's, it's natural you know, they are just the instinct kind of like you know, you're not even know say it. Oh, you have to act on the instinct. Yeah, but if, but I just this it, so that's why I just so discipline coming so most of them so that's men it. don't get enough credit, you know. Mm -hmm. For going out there and seeing all these beautiful women and walk past them. We weren't designed for that, you know. What? It's a discipline, a well a discipline <laughs> a man forget every time your husband go out and come in, you're supposed to have a trophy away and you know, <laughs> oh, say, no, say look here. At least you go out and you come back. What? Yeah. Ah. You're supposed to you're supposed to hug him up oh and say, my God, no sir. And say, Seriously? Could, yeah man, we were made that way. You guys these are our medal for that. Yeah, it's a sin, <laughs> a, it's a sin, you know. Uh, uh, so Jesus. most men can um, most men will never will never see, go ahead. Oh you my god. Ahead because you you, you oh. lie to yourself and you oh for right through the time. Are you serious? You're being, yeah, man, you're being yeah, lying man. to yourself. You're lying to your kids. You're lying. It, it. And oh, some way seriously? Can, that's why. That's why you have so the, all of the good pastors and every everybody, all of the good men. But pastors are men because you know I learned from when I was young not to set pastors apart because like we used to do that, like set pastors apart. Come on, come on, read the Bible and they, and they, and they really believe. They really believe in themselves, so they 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 can have a prayer service. Mm -hmm. They they can sit down with with Sister Colleen and, <laughs> and in, a, in a prayer service and close it and close the door and and us and us pray and, and uh, be there and pray yeah. and uh, and in mind us pray. But you're talking it's not, the truth. A woman can you know do it. No, a woman yeah. can do it. Yeah, yeah. So me and you, we sit here. 
for two hours mm -hmm. and nothing at all in the cross mind. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But men don't, don't speak like that. You know, you, um, have, you have some men now who can do it, but because they are not really straight, they have a lot of female hormones in them. So then we, then we, then we start, then we think like a female. Mm -hmm. But, but a man, if you're 100% testosterone, yes. you're not thinking like that. No, you can't, you can't. But then, how does that make you better than like any other animal out there? No, man, it, it's not better. Oh, you're not better? No, man. Okay, thank you. You're I'm glad. Better. I, I, I'm glad. Better. I didn't say no, it. Man, no, man. But you're not better. Like, like, just like how you see the, the goat. Remember, say, like a goat kid. Remember, the, the kid just born. Like, by the way, six weeks, you see him jump up and he's mad and he's like a mm -hmm. like sister. It's also. nature. Yeah, it's just nature. Everything else is the society cause men cause this burden for a man. So you think that all right, so I'm gonna ask you something. So you think that it would would be better, like we'd we'd have a better society if men were allowed to have sister wives then? Ten times. It will be ten times better. I and see. every 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 man will tell her that. But they will never tell their wife. Mm-hmm. Like your your husband would never say mm -hmm. to you. Yeah. But, but, but your 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 boyfriend would not. say it. No, yeah. Because you allow your force in that because he wouldn't want to say it to you. He wouldn't want to say it to you because but you don't allow him to say it. Because you hear what you say, better not. Better not. Uh, yeah. But you don't go to every mm -hmm. class say, you know, you know, there's some a feeling inside of me that I'll why Paul me not subscribe to that? Let me tell you. You see, no, I it's not feel like but, but if it, as long as you read the Bible and believe in the Bible. Yeah. You still, have to, bringing, you still have to know that. Yeah, people bring up Solomon, weren't. David, they bring up those men like, okay, so none of them had one wife. You know what I'm saying? Like David had how many wives? Solomon had wives mm -hmm. and concubines and whatever, whatever. So um people are 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 saying, hey, look at all the men in the Bible lived then that is men's nature yeah, we are the ones who have changed that you know but and so we are so we are destroyed the earth by changing that thing <laughs> oh, no, so, so apart a global <laughs> warming and everything so when, when you see the man they have gone a beard that way and then uh, and half of the time oh so when you see them out no, you see them out and then they are bar oh, my i bring them a child bring a, I so they are at bar like, Having a drink. Listen, let me tell you something. I'm it's laughing, a, but it's a serious it's thing. A because let me tell you what. Is the man I have the never heard a man put it like this. And I I would want to like be opposed to everything that you're saying, but I actually can't mm. be. Because when you look at the amount of pastors out there that actually get in trouble cheating with the church sisters and stuff, and I have had experiences where pastors have hit on me. So you sit down in a church now, and you know, say, yes. you may have to fix my foot in a car, yes. you know, say, Pastor, try to cut my skirt. I'm not talking about any person in particular, people, so just don't try to figure out. Yeah. But I'm just saying, I've had that experience, yeah. or even my husband's couple of the, his friends. Cheating, like trying to cheat with me, telling me that, oh, your husband don't have to know, my wife don't have to know, you know, that kind of thing. And I'm, and like, so, I'm so upset over it I because I'm like, one. why are you coming to me with that? Like you, as, as a person who is in church, as a person who is a deacon or an elder or a pastor, you ought to know better. But my saying that, no, I'm not thinking about the nature of the man, you know, I'm not thinking about that. I'm just thinking that, hey. You set you yourself can't help up it, man. as somebody in you society can't, you can't help it. who can't is in a position it. of authority, who is yes. in a position to sit down and preach you to just me, can't, you can't help and it. why you can't be better. You, can't you understand? Help you can't help it. You can't help you it. Give me it. To think about it still, no, still, you give me a lot to think about still. I'm just like, this is just you like, I'm, my mind is blown. That's why, that's why if, if, if you go back in a relationship, Mm -hmm. I beg you. I have to go in there with a open mind. That's why not. And the only thing we can work. That's why I know, that's why I'm a few marriages is really working. You know? Yeah. People just have put even though they're not break up, mm -hmm. they just have put up with one another. Listen though, Paul, and honestly, because the, the woman, the woman it's needs security. Do, it's hard. The woman needs hard. security. That's, that's, that's the only thing. You know? Security, very important to a woman. So woman, if I feel like I can't trust you. 
You know, if you want no, to, because it's even, to it, as long as they have the security, even if women are cheap on them, they're not, they're not able no, to. No, so I make up. And that's why you don't hear woman, woman, woman leave the man. But then, not, for, not for cheating. Not, not, not for cheating if, if a man have enough security. Well, if a man make him really feel maybe secure. Maybe maybe if a man make him feel secure, he, he, he put up with well, as as That's why you hear a woman say, as long as a man go, they go get a picnic. Mm -hmm. It don't. Mm -hmm. But you, you notice know, the amount of women you know, where we'll man they go out there. Yeah, yeah, and they put up with it because they say it at first, you know. Yeah, but then when it happens, they actually deal with it. And in Jamaican society, I mean, I'm talking about Jamaica because this is where I'm born and grow. Like, I see that happening a lot outside children. And then I'm looking at it now and I'm saying, how do women put up with that? Like, as for me, me not think I could deal with it. But at the end of the day, it's not the child's fault. You understand? Mm. But I, I don't know. I'm, I'm probably make up different because trust is very important to me. Me don't want you to lie to me and tell me, say, you're not with somebody when you're with I'm somebody. Not, not, not. And, and listen, Come Jamaica, on, but very smart. No, but no problem. If, if he's, anytime you start telling the same with somebody, I just say, you, you know, respect you anymore, man. You're not supposed to tell So you must hide it. Yes. <laughs> you're not supposed to tell you. <laughs> no, man, you're not so supposed to. So he's to hide it. Yeah, but you're not supposed, you're not supposed so to. So you said, do what you're doing, but don't disrespect your wife. Yeah. Is that what you're you're supposed to. But it's supposed as long to as you start, as long as you start popping in your face, with, with that's, why you're, that's why you're saying phone, don't, don't try to search it. Don't, 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 just leave it, just leave it to them. Yeah. Because if you, if you, if you are looking for something, you are going, you are going to find Because as a woman, the woman are like detective, then we just find, then we just find things. So, but some people will say, all right, whatever good for the gander, good for the goose. So if you're a gibbon, you must get ready for take. No, one. no, because it's, it's completely different. Women were not but made you see that what way. I'm saying? No, Why it's not. It's not. Though? No, women. Though, no, but... women. Women don't do it. A but, man, we go out there, you know. When a man go out there and he meet a girl mm -hmm. and he go away with a carrier, but on a one come out there alone, just like, mm. it don't mean nothing to him. Mm. You saying that he can he, so you you saying that he can do that because just like a bodily response yes, and release, you know, it, yeah, man, you know, but it doesn't it. affect the way no, he thinks and but, feels but about his wife. But when a woman, wife. if a woman feel something like that, woman think about it. Woman not just go out and woman don't. But should her husband be as forgiving as she is? No, you know, you, you can't <laughs> forgive a woman. No. You know, but it's not it's, it's something completely different women is different mm -hmm. women not just go they go and make love with, with a man like that mm -hmm. she feels women feel, are she, more yeah she, it's, you she have, have a point feel, more she emotional she feel, very yeah, emotional being everything so yeah it, it's it would have to be like over a period of time probably developing feelings for a particular person yeah. before they go to she that take it serious. See it. but you can meet a Men, in as not in you, you, yeah, but space, men right. in general can meet a woman in the space of five minutes. Five minutes, say, okay, I'm yeah, that. Right. Wow, that's yeah, man, it's, I just see, I just women, but the body make up different. Mm -hmm. Interesting, it's a, it's a different, it's a different, interesting, different very, very interesting. So that's why you can't forgive a woman, a man must not forgive her. if you have a wife and she cheat, mm -hmm. don't forgive her, you can't tolerate her and go and live with her if you want. But, but don't tell us you're a bad people. But but well, what about the Bible now, Paul? When the Bible says, "Listen, um, you can put away your your." No one. The Bible says, "Listen, the Bible says you must kill her." Listen, the wife go out and cheat, man. You must kill her. <laughs> a stone if you put bring her out in the open. No, listen, no. But Jesus said, "Listen, if you if you who is without sin cast the first stone, and not a man could have picked it up." You understand because some of those men were amongst the men that she was sleeping with, yeah. so they can't. They don't have no right to stone her. But yeah, you understand yeah, what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, some persons, religious men, we tell you, said Jesus that the same lady, it a show like a the Jesus girlfriend at the domain of the last part, you know. Mm -hmm. Well, people said that. I don't believe that still and still, but because, people want but that, to say that's that. the girl when he stayed closest to him. Yeah. Because so, all right, so then no, no, hold up a second now. People keep saying that, and then I'm I'm saying to myself, why is it that people feel that men and women can't just be friends? Do you think that women and men can be platonic friends? So me and your friend, and I'm calling you. We talk half an hour conversation, one hour conversation, and that kind of thing. And you might you might be out on the road and you say, 
boy Davis, yeah, um, yeah, want eat lunch. You want to eat, yeah, man, you want to eat it, lunch. That man, you don't feel like we can have he's, that kind he's of relationship. Waiting. That man is oh, waiting for an opportunity. A, opportunity. Okay. Okay, that explains a lot of yeah, things, man, you know. Wait, wait, I, used, wait, wait. I used to think I could have guy friends mm -hmm. until me cut off every man. Yes, yes. Me cut off every man in the park because I'm thinking to myself, Anytime. how is it that I can have a guy friend? May you gel with chill, mm -hmm. like I can talk our conversation on the phone and I'm not thinking anything. I'm yeah. like, this is just my good, good friend, yes. right? And then, yeah, hit for me. How is that? And I'm thinking to myself, my mind never got a son, no, none at all. Because he's a man. But all the he's time, you're he's telling me that all the time, from the very first yeah, hello, he might think about how he can get to me. He might, wow. wait, he might wait for your turn. So, you know, so my husband break up. <laughs> I don't think he wants. Oh, Jesus. No, yeah, man. Wow. And some of them never wait until your husband yeah. break up. They might try a movie. Yeah, Same way, not to the same one. Yes, yes, no wife not have to know. Yes. Uh, your husband not have to know. I've heard that so many times. Yeah, and from men who are in the church. And it just is a turn off for me big time, you know. And it, it, I'm telling you, it's not like I, I'm, I see people and I say, boy, a respectable man, but I cannot understand how men have no kind of self control. It just no, blows it can't, my it, mind. It can't, it can't. Blow my they're mind. not. They weren't made that way. They oh. weren't made that way. Oh. They, they, they Learn something new. A whole heap of self control, you know. Yeah. For a man, for a man, for go through wife. a day, hmm. go through a day. Look, look how the ladies them dress. You never see when you go on the street and you mm -hmm. see how a woman dress. Mm -hmm. That's why in a in a lie down night Middle East, the woman they have to cover up. Cover up. So they're not because, temptation then. Yes. So, so when, when, it, when they rape a woman mm -hmm. in a Pakistan, you know, a woman go to prison for him. Wow. Why? Because she's a temptation to the man. And she calls the man for do it. Wow. So wait, where's, so yeah. where's the man's responsibility in all of this? <coughs> if you notice, no, talk then they blame the woman. Woman get blamed for everything. Unjustly though. Unjustly. Because so far, you, you know, it's a him, the snake. From the snake. Attempt by everything oh, is all about the all about the woman. See Let me tell you something, Paul. I'm I'm this is my thing. You see, if my husband cheat, I'm not going to I'm not going to see a woman on the road and hold and call her. You understand? Because she didn't <clears throat> she did not stand before God and make a promise to me. You see when you make a promise to a woman, a woman will hold it to that promise. <clears throat> you break that promise. That woman will never feel about you. I'm mean, tell her that. Will never feel about you 100% the same. Every time that a man does that, <clears throat> excuse me, the man chips away at any kind of, the, the love just chip away at the love. You understand? She might stay with you and put up with it, you know, but may I tell her she will love you 100%. No, but that, that, uh, in, that because another, in, another, 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 another Monday, I really a soulmate. You just not love him. If I did if I write if I right, man. man. <laughs> yeah, anytime that you look a man, anytime you find one man a man find one man with me, she love. Mm -hmm. I buy one strong right here, she the man have him a leave on. <laughs> no, but then that simply means that yeah, that simply means that men are taking advantage then. Because then you're ex you can go out and cheat then, Paul, and then um the woman is at home now. Having to put up with that, deal with that. All when she knows, say, yeah, you step out for her with this one and that one, and then she must just like keep keep the peace and hold her mouth, like you know. Expect no, man, you know, any no, man, you know, you hold, you know, you hold your mouth either. Mm -hmm. If you call, but I don't mean say I go walk out of a relationship because the man cheat. Mm -hmm. Because as me tell you, men were I do so men see. You have to move on and go talk to one next one next man reverse now him. Mm -hmm. well, because if me must say I the Jama in a Jamaica, you know, the a the man them. I saw the rough slave them then drop off I, I, I get the punish <laughs> each other. So no refinement. No. They don't refine at all. No. That explains all a lot. Man, them. Thank you for coming. All of the man them. They end up a Jamaica and I saw a rough man them. I trouble the punish for each other. Oh my god. Okay. I'm not sure because why they didn't even reach this far. Mm -hmm. I did some good study of them, you know. So uh -huh. they, they have them they have them now as study and oh carry them. Gosh. They were made. They were made that way. That's why. That's why in space of nine months, mm -hmm. a man can nine baby, nine nine women pregnant. No, but nine. Uh -huh. We are talking about members. Each time a one million sperm cell. Each time oh a one million sperm cell. 
but you, you know, a female can only have just one egg or maybe two. Oh my God. You know, I'm not saying so you have three, four. Yeah, but, but here we say, okay, so no nine baby, I'll take that back. Millions. Thanks for the education. Millions. millions. <laughs> Thanks for the lesson, the birds mm -hmm. and the bees lesson. Yeah, man, millions. Uh, yes, you're right. So millions are right. So and in a day, one year, it no more so in a day, a man can impregnate a whole of a woman. Yes. Is that what you're saying? Okay. And you have to just you take your one pregnancy and you have that for one whole month. Nine months. Nine months. Yeah. Wow. I just saw. I, 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 I just saw the thing set up. That's the name God for this. Why? Why, Lord? Why? Why did you have to make my husband like this? Mm -hmm. You know, those are these questions you have to, you have to, you have you to ask. ask. You have to go to God go with down. that. Yeah, man, go, down, go, go to God with that. Don't go to me as man. Because, any, yeah, man, because as long as you, you want a real man, because you are the one who say you want this tall, black, tall and handsome man. You are yeah, asked for that. That's yeah. how you are for. <laughs> but those are the men now. Where are, those are the men where, as long as you are the real man, you know, yes. there's no way. Yeah. Him, there's no way he can just sit down I just look by your I hear you. I hear you. Yeah, I, I just, I just say, you can't help him. You can't help him. No pressure him. No pressure him. What? You come in, you give him, you give him a cup of tea. Did you, uh, honey? Did you do anything oh, wrong it today? Yeah, no, I no, like, it's alright. Nobody no. answer that. No, man. That question I'd stay away from. You do anything wrong today? No, man, Rosie, how okay. was your day? That's it. Because, because well, well, I don't it. think the answer. We don't want the answer. Is what you say. We don't yeah, don't yeah. ask a question to which you don't want the answer. Yeah, or you can't answer handle this? the answer. Um, but yeah. in a, in, a, in, a, in a most cases, a man can they don't really have the strength to go through with more than one woman for the day. Mm -hmm. So if you can make him feel happy going out, mm -hmm. show him that respect. Mm -hmm. And then they when, like when he's at work right now, because mm -hmm. I respect Check him. Up on him every man minute. no one no love him. Man <laughs> no one about no love. What I want is respect. So if you're planning to say, honey, mm. you can get something okay. to eat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see what you're saying. So even you yeah. have one little girl in an officer where my eyes know what, just mm -hmm. because your wife calls and say, you can eat, eat something. Just that alone. Yeah, man. Show a kind of respect. Yes. Right, that would keep him yeah, from yeah. then. Remember that you need to get something to, to eat. eat. Wow. Just so. basic things. Wow. Not, and I'm not going to say, So women want to Because most of the time, you know, say almost every time when a man cheat. Mm -hmm. That for three minutes, eh, at the end, I did say, How many of you? What is for? Mm -hmm. Almost every time. Ask any one of your friends, eh, mm -hmm. if every time when you do it, mm -hmm. you know, sorry, say, I remember say, How oh, may end up here, sir? Ah, no, this yeah. makes no sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you know, same wife, the home, I wait. Mm -hmm. So, my time, she I wait for her to in dinner. She won't go out to sleep, mm -hmm. but she will really wait for yeah. her to in dinner again. Yeah. And, and it'll be there. So, so, so what you're saying is that women crave love, but men want respect. Respect, man. They don't want business going on. Boy, Paul, I'm telling you that I came Listen. to have a particular yeah. conversation and it just turned out yeah, into man, something know, totally different. Something and is that a pick of me always love? Yeah, because... and you end up schooling me. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Because so. I, in, I think there's an African miss inside of me. Mm -hmm. Where every now and then, remember, remember so many times, when my wife hear me talk about it, she, mm -hmm. She Shake her head. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, she because yeah. women just yeah. can't yeah. wrap them. Yeah. We can't wrap our brains around it's that yeah. and just feel like, hey, you guys are just making excuses. But enough, I guess enough men have said, I've heard men say it before now, but not as articulately as you have. Like, um, like um, I just like brushed off as foolishness and said, boy, I'm just a bad excuse. You mm. understand? But Hearing you explain it, it kind of making a little bit of sense to me. I don't necessarily agree, you know. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna agree to disagree. That's it. Really. Well, that's what. But I did. But I did. No, you write write a book for me on that. Yeah. yeah okay. Man, I movie, okay. Know, okay. Man, okay. So from a man's film. perspective, yeah, man. then. Okay. That's it. We want. We want. We want write write a nice write subject page on it. On it. Okay. Yeah, okay. We can do that. Oh man. Yeah. We can. Do well, that. Well, really, men really yearn for what men are thinking yeah man. so when so when your husband laid on the bed now what did, what did, what are his thoughts what is he thinking about what's going through his head yes when he's sitting across from you at dinner out at the restaurant him eyes them just all over the place the yeah, waitress man. and oh my and, God. and uh, wow. most persons most women even not even realize that when she and her girlfriend go out mm -hmm. when they reach back home that's 
some of the best love making mm -hmm. Because it's about fantasizing about the friends. Yes. Uh, uh, no, sorry. Uh, That's crazy. That yeah. is just insane. And I guess that would explain like um, some of the things that I hear go on in marriages, the swapping and the threesomes and the this and that. I guess but it's women trying those to... Are the, um, those are those the happy are marriages? The, yeah, those, those are the relationships that work. Wow. Most of the time. Because okay. you have yeah, relationships that go on, but they don't really work. The relationship mm -hmm. when we work as... Is when a wife accepts that part of things, embrace that and kind of... I, 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 when one of my fun moment was I was in Vegas when, um, mm -hmm. when mm -hmm. and my wife said, go on, go on on the go-go, we, <laughs> we have a nice club we have to work with like 100 girls yeah, yeah, inside yeah. of them. Vegas, no Vegas, them call that's Sin City. Yeah man, Sin City, oh. that's, they, that's, that's yeah. why they call no it Sin City. Mm -hmm. Yeah man, you go there and you see. It's so like, and she not ask you what happened when you come back? No man, she allow you, when, when you go to Vegas, you know, your wives will, will allow you to go. So that's good. Yeah man, go and go. Go and go look. Go and go look. No, how can you look back? Look. Look what don't touch. Look what don't touch. Because in Vegas, I remember they have, there was this movie you now. Mm -hmm. They have this movie where they go. Mm -hmm. So those women no more go to that movie. Mm -hmm. So they, they, they women they know where they go. Because we, oh, we went in a group. So all the little women go watch. Men go go watch man. Oh! So, yeah, he, <laughs> and, the man go to go them, you know, but you know, Jamaican man. Mm -hmm. They now go watch no man a dance and right, 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 right. Yeah. All right, so, wow. so we were allowed to just go off. Yeah, man. Be, so be so, men. Yeah, man, so. <laughs> wow. Yeah, man, so. Interesting conversation. Yeah, Honestly, man. I did not expect it to go this way, but it was good. It was good talking yes. to you. That's a wrap. Yeah, man, thanks, Is that thanks, a wrap? Yes. That's yes, a wrap. Yes, yes. Yeah, okay. Thanks for having me and I really enjoy. Yeah, thanks for stopping by. Yeah, yeah really yeah. appreciate it. And we'll stop. When, when Stop by whenever. Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. We can continue this and, and yeah, very imagine, yes. your perspective on things is interesting. And like I said, as a girl, go up sheltered and stuff hearing your talk is just mind blowing yeah. to me. Yeah. Um so yeah, that's a wrap. So All if right. you liked this program, please hit the like button, leave comments down below. Want to hear what you guys are thinking. Um don't forget to subscribe. And hit the notification bell. I'm going to hear from the men then. What do you think Yes, about? yes. I want to hear from the men. <laughs> Listen, and ladies, you need to show up and make Paul know what is what. And I'm going to share the comments with Mr. Patmore here. Right? And then we can probably continue the conversation further. If there's anything you want us to talk about, then let me know in the comments so that I can contact Mr. Patmore and we can have another conversation. Yeah? Maybe a live conversation where you guys can comment and we can see it and respond to it while we're talking. That would be good, right? Yes. Yeah. All right. Thank you so much right. and take care of yourself. All right. All right.